Hey everyone, um, it's been about a month and I got another box of Pretty Rocks in. This is the Mindful Soul subscription box. Last month we learned that I can't film outside because you can't hear me over the wind. So we're back inside this month. Uh, also last month I was showing off my noodle board that I got from Two Sisters Creations. And I don't know if y'all heard about that, but there it is again. Um... I'll put a link for that in the description box if you want to go check out her page and order yourself a noodle board. Um, I'll also put the link for the $15 off your first box of Mindful Souls if you're interested in checking this out. But the box just came today. I'm super excited to look in here and see what we've got. Uh, as we usually do, I'll go through it. I'll show you everything in it real quick. And then if you want to stick around for the description, that's cool. If not, then you can go on about your day. This month, we've got this. Oh, real quick. Okay, so the subscription is $40-ish a month. I think it's like $43 something after tax. Um, you can skip months. I like that they send an order of boxes. They don't send everything the same, everybody the same thing every month. You get the boxes in a certain order so you can look ahead to the next number on the box and see if that's something that you want to skip. Personally, I find something that I'm willing to pay the subscription cost itself for one item in the box each month and then everything else is just bonus stuff for me or I'll see something that I think somebody else needs and so I haven't skipped any months yet. But so this is the little pamphlet that tells you what's inside. I'm not going to show y'all. I'm going to look in just a second, but I'm not going to show y'all. And on this one, it says, encourage yourself, believe in yourself, and love yourself. Never doubt who you are. Right there. I love how there's always something. And then there's an affirmation card in here, too, that I'm going to show you. What is... Okay. Okay, I'm excited, y'all. Okay, I'm excited to show y'all this stuff. So, um, you also get a little sticker or a card. Isn't that one pretty? Uh, this is the one for this month. I love that. That's so pretty. The colors in there are gorgeous. And then <clears throat> our affirmation card this month is an affirmation for ownership. It says, I can pick and choose what I want to do. I can pick and choose what I want to do. Hey, guess what? We're adults. We can tell people no. Some of us really hard. That's really hard for some of us. Okay, this, this one I'm going to save for last. I'm super excited about that one. But just to get started, we have the Blue Sage Lavender Smudge Stick. So blue sage, that's a thick bundle. That's very thick with lavender. Oh, it smells so good. And then I've got four bags in here and a box. I'm gonna save the box for last. Um, this is Tiger's Eye Sphere. I can't ever get the focus where I want it. I'm no good at these videos, y'all. This is why I'm not a influencer or anything. But Tiger's Eye. I've had a quite a bit of Tiger's Eye coming into my life here lately. I think I might need some protection. This, okay. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little, first of all, I'm a little disappointed by the huge knot that this is in. Okay, I'll work on that later. And then I'm a little disappointed in the color on this one. This is supposed to be a yellow appetite waning cre crescent necklace. But you can see my yellow appetite is very 
clear crystally. There, there's just a very light hint of yellow on there. And I do need some more yellow stones, so I'm a little disappointed that's not quite as yellow as I thought it was going to be. Oh, this one's heavy. What is the... Oh, I bet, yeah. This is a big rock. This is... I'm getting these little wormies all over me. This is... Huh. It says it's moss agate. But let's see if I can... I mean, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong. I love the colors in there. We've got blue and purple. Um, It's just not... Moss Agate, I thought they were supposed to it's supposed to be green. That's there is zero green in this. Another thing about Mindful Souls is um their customer service is amazing. Okay, so there's there's a tiny bit. I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up. Um but I've had to reach out to customer service a few times that since I've started this subscription. This is my fifth box um on on some stuff that just wasn't quite up to my standards I'm pretty picky that sage got all over me <laughs> um but they have always been super quick to replace anything that was subpar okay this is the rose quartz bracelet a nice pretty little pink. Definitely a lot more pink than the last pink. I was more pink than the last pink thing they sent me. The rose quartz. Okay. And then... This... Is the clear quartz energy generator. Look at her. Isn't she pretty? So we're going to start with the description on this one since I've, I've already got... That's... I'm not quite... That, that's aluminum, I probably think, but... Okay, so... The Clear Quartz Energy Generator. Having an energy generator crystal in your space will help to clear out negative energies, giving you peace of mind in your daily during your daily life. These generators raise the energy from the earth to the sky and can bring universal light and knowledge into your space. Might take this one to work. Um, it's a great tool for meditation, healing, and general support, and can also be used to charge other crystals. Clear Quartz is a master healer crystal and amplifies the energy of crystals it is placed near. Place energy generators in your home or workspace to protect, activate, and transmute energy. I just love how it's got, I think those colors are supposed to represent the chakras, but they're not quite chakra colors. It's pretty though. I love that. Okay. And then we're going to go back up to the rose quartz bracelet. I wonder if it'll tell us what that little symbol there is. Or if you know what it is, if I can get it in focus. Uh, thinking of self-care as a necessity rather than as a luxury that you don't have time for will set you up for a happier and healthier life. Self-care self is all about making time to nurture yourself and loving yourself unconditionally. Bless yourself with compassion by connecting the rose quartz energy, connecting to the rose quartz energy of this bracelet. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't read today. Uh, rose quartz brings the focus... Rose Quartz brings the focus to how strong and powerful you are, regardless of what is happening with your body. It begs you to love yourself at every stage. Self-love is so important. We are so busy trying to show how much we love others that sometimes we forget that it's important to love yourself in order to be able to give love. Okay, so this Tiger's Eye Sphere... 
I've never seen one with like that little perfect, looks like there's a hematite inclusion in there because it's, it's pretty silver uh, with that perfect little circle right there in the middle. Again, the, you can't see the silver, but I can. Uh, when fear enters our decision-making process, our choice gets skewed. To see the path ahead clearly, improve your foresight with Tiger's Eye Sphere. Tiger's Eye Healing Properties protect us from seeing the worst in ourselves. Instead, Tiger's Eye Healing Energies blesses the third eye with confidence, courage, strength, and harmony so that our perspective isn't tainted by self-doubt or insecurities. To activate your crystal, sit quietly holding your crystal in both hands. Breathe in the highest white light and visualize your intention for your crystal. And I just want y'all to know that it's okay if you don't believe in this stuff. It's okay if you do. Either way, regardless, like, um, I like things that make me feel good in my house. And that's what I am working on surrounding myself with things that make me feel good and make me happy. So if this isn't your job, whatever, that's cool. If it is, then more power to you. Um, I'm just trying to maybe share something with somebody that can make them make a little time for yourself. Mindful Souls is all about, you know, uh, intentional thinking and just being more intentional with yourself. So the yellow appetite waning crescent necklace. The waning crescent moon symbolizes the end of the old cycle and the start of approaching new one. Detach yourself from the world and rest. It is a time to think things over and contemplate the things that you should let go. Appetite is a dual action stone known for its positive use of personal power to achieve goals. It clears away confusion, apathy, or negativity then stimulates the intellect to expand knowledge and truth, which may be used for personal growth or for the collective good. It is a stone of manifestation, promoting a humanitarian outlook and service to others. And I was, I was looking forward to some yellow stones, but this one's just, it's got a wee little tiny bit of manifestation going on in there. <laughs> Moss agate and just to show you so the one in the book is very clearly uh, well not to you but to me green and this is very purple so i'm not sure i am nowhere near a crystal expert enough to know what qualifies as moss agate um but like this it, it's a beautiful stone i'm just not sure they sent me the right one. Uh, moss agate carries a strong connection with nature, many its healing and nurturing energy to you. It teaches us to appreciate and enjoy each moment we have with the earth, helping us to set an intention for healing the planet. Associated with the heart chakra, moss agate also helps facilitate the release of old habits and fears to inspire growth. So yeah, the the... Purple and blue. Like I said, there's a tiny, tiny bit of like maybe some green and brown in there. I'm going to have to look further into that. I understand a lot of these crystals. Um, a lot of things that they are called are trade names that different sellers sell them by or whatever and and the stone itself is something that sounds kind of basic so they kind of hype it up with stuff but like i've never seen a purple moss agate so okay our blue sage lavender smudge stick blue sage has a mild floral aroma oh and it does smell so good ah, this one i'll probably put in my bedroom i've got two white sage smudge sticks that i keep for use in the living room um, so if you're someone who finds strong smells overpowering, this might be your new favorite smudge stick. It is also known to attract prosperity and wealth, so it is an excellent addition to any abundance ritual. Lavender carries an energy of happiness and tranquility, 
making this stick perfect for when you're feeling stressed. Ah! <laughs> okay, well, there is that. But yes, this is my white sage. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I know my neighbors think when I'm smudging over here like with my white sage, they're like, what was on that funny stuff? Because it, it, it smells pretty close to marijuana, but this smells completely different. So I might have to start focusing on blue sage. There, there's a there's a little wacky weed scent in there, but yeah, y'all, I just said wacky weed. But okay, all right. Well, that's this month's box. I hope you guys were as excited about it as I was. Maybe even a little bit more than I was. Um. And again, I will put a link for $15 off your first box if you're interested in, in the description box below, as well as the link to Two Sisters Creations, where uh, if you are interested in a noodle board or other decorative items for your home, my mom and my aunt run that um, business and stop by, check them out and let them help you out with something this this holiday season. All right, guys, it was good to see you again, and I love you, and I'll see you later. Bye.